G'day everybody. Well for today's uh, little clean up video and possible test I figured we'd uh, have a bit of a play around with this GE 400 watt metal halide high bay light which I uh, basically managed to save from the rubbish pile at school. Uh, this one along with four others had been uh, changed out for uh, LEDs and uh, unfortunately they were going to be heading for um, basically landfill so I uh, actually asked around on what was happening and somebody very kindly said I could take one home with me so here it is. Uh, as you can see it probably stands about 90, 900 mil tall, uh, almost a metre. Um, it's extremely heavy. Uh, like I said it's a 400 watt metal halide complete with a bulb which we'll look at in a second. There's the specs on it there. That's actually the um, that's the specs on the lamp but it's a uh, authorised dealer for our General Electric. This is a, an American made unit. It's very well made. It's very solid Castelli uh, ballast box housing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, terminals under there and there's your uh, in-feed through the uh, hook. And yeah, bulb down there and the reflector, which I do like the style of. Uh, basically what we're going to do is pull it apart, clean it all up and um, possibly put it together and see if it works again. Because it's, uh, I have had this open and it's pretty dirty inside. And the ballast has gone a bit crunchy, so... Anyway, we'll, uh, get it apart and have a look. Okay, well, I've got the, uh, unit apart. Uh, it's actually very easy to disassemble. The, uh, actual ballast block, which is here, has two, uh, connectors in it, which coincide with these two on the, uh, actual bulb holder. And you can take out a screw and the whole lot will uh, basically disconnect from it so you can either replace the ballast or the bulb holder in situ it's a uh, very good design makes it a lot easier to uh, store and move around and even uh, install like you can hang your ballast block up first and then put your light and reflector assembly on uh, the reflectors outside being uh, cleaned up I've already done that letting it drying but uh, taking the um, bulb holder out which is E40 uh, Mogul, uh, we call it E40 here in Australia um, it's awful dirty but uh, it's cleaning up alright not touching any of this soot though because I don't know if it's carcinogenic or not I don't think it is but I'm just being a little careful with it from what I was told it was actually just dust that had been burnt uh, from the infrared from the, uh, the actual bulb but I'm not 100% sure on it, so I'm not going to be, uh, or at least trying to avoid it at best. But other than that, the actual uh, socket's cleaned up alright, which is good. I mean, there's a little bit more in there, but we can get rid of that easy enough. So uh, it's just wiping it out with a damp cloth, and uh, that'll go on the bin after. And, um, yeah, but four bolts that hold the uh, reflector on, which uh, we'll have a look. It's um, out here in the grass, it's uh, oh bloody hell, it's awful bright out here but that's uh, that's come up alright, it's almost dry as well, a little bit of water still in it, but um, yeah, that'd make an awesome lampshade, if the rest of the unit's stuffed I'll use up my bedroom as a lot, lampshade, <laughs> that is pretty cool, I do like that design, but uh, I can stay out here for now. Let the rest of the water evaporate off of it. Next up, we'll um, open this up and have a look inside. And I'll also clean up those contacts there because that's filthy. Well, I've got the ballast open. Um, and again, it's awful dirty in there. There's no uh, igniter at all, being this uh, must be a probe start metal halide, I'm guessing. Uh, pulse starts normally have an igniter, but there's no sign of one. It's a very big. PFC cap in there, photo, sorry, um, power factor correction. I'm thinking of photovoltaic and that's solar panel, so if, excuse me there. Um, insulation's a bit sound on the ballast, but it's uh, the windings look nice and uh, golden brown colour, which is uh, if it's dark red or black, then it's burnt out, but if it's that golden brown colour, then it's, uh, it's fine. It's just well used and well heated. So, uh, you know, get in there with the uh, shop vac and just get as much of that rubbish out and then I'll start disconnecting a few of these wires 
and um, open it fully up, pull the ballast down, just clean up the inside of this aluminium casing and get that all uh, all good because it's um, definitely hasn't been open in a long time, I can certainly tell you now. But, uh, it's coming along, I've got the um, bulb holder and uh, reflector uh, top, I suppose you'd call that, uh, cleaned up, it's come up alright. In there, I mean, it's still uh, a lot of that's actually stained in, but it's uh, it's certainly come up okay. Also, forgot to show the bulb earlier on, but here it is. Here, I've got a couple of coach bolts there just stopping it rolling around. But it's a GE multi vapor, which is actually metal halide. If we can get a focus on that. I don't know if the auto focus on this camera is still working, but uh, yeah, you get the idea though. It's, I know that's upside down, but. Yeah, I don't think auto focuses on, but you get the idea though. It's a uh, it's a very big lamp. It's about the biggest one I've had. It's uh the arc, tu arc tube's pretty black in there by the looks of it, but uh, it might work. You don't know. You can sort of see it up in there. And there's the uh, starting resistor. But, uh, talking of light bulbs, I did manage to uh, get another one for this as well, so we can uh, give that a test tonight. 80 watt mercury lamp. Um, anyway, I'll uh, get that cleaned up and we can uh, have a bit more of a look. Well, I uh, got the casing cleaned up alright. A lot of that was actually just surface dust and uh, I was able to get rid of most of it with the uh, vacuum cleaner. So that's all ready to uh, be put back together. Uh, here's the ballast and everything in the cap. Uh, bottom side of the ballast is alright as well. It's still got its uh, varnish on. Um, Again, it was just caked in dust and stuff. That's all just varnish here. Yeah. Looks like it's gotten a little bit hot, but um, it is all right. And uh, yeah, that cap as well is a, if I can get the autofocus to work this time, it's a um, 30 microfarad, 420 volt AC. Uh, doesn't say who it's made by. I'm guessing it's probably GE. Oh, the camera's actually focused on it. And uh, the good thing is, is that it's uh, got no PCBs stamped in it. So I found out the date of this unit is actually 1990. It's got uh, on the uh, labels there. Well, it's this one here actually. It's uh, date 0290. That's 1990. So second's probably February or something. That's the optical assembly. That's just a warning about uh, what bulb you can use in it. Um, that's all ready to go. Uh, this will be once I get it all back together. Um, here's just a better look at that. It says it's protected. Probably got a thermal cutout or something in it. Thermal fuse. That just screws on the bottom there. Covers up the uh, terminal. And uh, then the ballast. The camera's going to go back again. There it goes. Ballast just uh, bolts in the bottom here. There's the uh, two rails to sit on. And that just holds it. And then this... Uh, thermo insulation plate goes under there with the uh, terminals so it's very, fairly straightforward there's no igniter or anything in this either so it's a um, probe start metal halide and also mercury vapor light so I was told you can't actually run mercury lights in our probe start metal halide fixtures alrighty well I've got the ballast block all reassembled back together and uh, ready to fit the reflector and bulb holder back on with it temporarily hanging up on a U-bolt with a homemade strap. So a bit of thick steel on views for that since I lost the original one a long time ago. But um, also got a uh, locking bolt on to stop it jumping off or falling off for whatever reason. And those are actually mandatory for when these are fitted into factories and gyms and swimming pools and things. Always got to have that, especially if it does a... Uh, say for instance somebody kicks a footy up and they smash into it. I'm guilty of doing that at school a couple of times, don't worry, but um, that basically stops it trying to jump off the uh, the hook and then fall, because I've seen that happen, it's not not pretty sight, especially when they hit the ground and the arc tube and the bulb breaks, but um, that's holding up. I have uh, had a few concerns about how much weight to put on that, and it seems to be doing alright. That's one of the main trusses for the, uh, the shed, and it's... Uh, it seems to be holding. Hopefully it won't fall down. We've got those there for 
just in case that does but we're ready to uh fit the optics back on and it's very easy you got the, basically your um your male and your female connectors and it just goes together like this if i can do it one-handed it basically just goes in like that and then you got a little screw around the other side here which goes in and then you tighten that up if i can actually keep it in the frame that'd be nice but yeah and then you tighten that up and that's what keeps it on and i'll put the bulb in and we'll uh, put some power to it see if it works Alrighty, we are ready for a test run and just remember with these units do not run them laying down on the ground sideways unless the bulbs rated for universal burn position was running them sideways you're basically heating the arc tube unevenly and they can go bang so i'm gonna have it running upright the way it would be uh in a factory so uh let's put some power to it and see if it goes or not nice Yeah, it's working. In fact, looking at that arc tube, it looks severely stressed, so I'm not going to run it for very long. In fact, it actually looks pretty bad from here. Yeah, it looks, looks a bit blown out on one side, which is not very good. But we'll see how it goes. It's very loud ballast as well. <laughs> Yeah, we'll let it get up a bit and then we'll turn it off because I really don't like the look of that arc tube. Because considering it's not an um, not an unprotected bowl, but could be quite bad. It's working though. It's getting hideously bright. Ooh, there it goes. That's getting ridiculously bright now. <laughs> that ballast is quite loud. Alrighty, I'm gonna shut it off now. We'll conclude this. So I, uh, I know it's just me being a bit of a, a chook, but I do not like the look of that arc tube and that lamp, the way it looked like one whole side was sort of blown out on it. But, uh, hmm, you can smell it. <laughs> but it works, which is good. Feel a bit of heat coming off it. I think I might have to let it cool down because I can feel the heat in here as well. But it works, which is good. Hope you enjoyed that, uh, a little bit of interesting lighting equipment, and uh, thanks for watching.